First Zoom TV 2009 at Computex, we're here at AMD, finally, but uh, we didn't manage to get anybody who can uh, stand in front of the camera with us and talk to us about things, but they were able to tell us what this is about, so I'm just going to introduce it. So, um, AMD is going to have their own 3D technology, which is actually not really their own. They're working together with DDD, who is providing the technology behind it. It's a beta driver you use on top of the ATI Catalyst driver. And um, other than NVIDIA technology, they use passive glasses. So when you look outside of the screen, it doesn't actually flicker. And um, you do lose half the horizontal resolution. So every horizontal line, one is for the left eye, one is for the right eye. But they're running uh, 1920 times 1200 resolution here. And when you use the glasses, you almost don't notice that there's actually some lines missing. You do see a little bit more aliasing, which you're probably not going to get rid of with higher settings since the GPU or the GPUs are actually not available that every second line is sent to another eye of the observer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it about the 3D system. It's supposed to be available already, though the driver's in beta status. And uh, pricing, they couldn't tell us, but we're going to get more information about that later. You'll probably think that this is, this is not really something new and you've already heard about it. Well, there are other companies that do this. Zalman, for example, um, are doing something similar, though Zalman is doing it in a little different way. They actually have two displays lying on top of each other with one line on the bottom, and then there's another glass layer, and then there's the other interleaved line. Uh, horizontal line on the higher layer. Um, this is working a little bit different. How exactly the display works, they didn't, they didn't tell us, they couldn't tell us, but it's pretty much like the Salmon thing.